Hey, hey everyone, Aaron here, and I'm playing around with Denjin Prime 2.0. So I'm doing a raw video here and just kind of show you what exactly I'm seeing, what it looks like. Why don't we just get right into it? I'm gonna look more at the software that comes out of the Prime 2 than it does actually out of Denon, the laptop software. But I will talk about that real quickly. So let's take a look at uh, what it looks like on the Prime 2. A couple things I'm noticing right away on the screen that's different that I like. We've got playlists now, so no more crates or place, which I agree, that was super confusing. We've got the prepare tab right here, history, which I like, which is right there. You can actually look at your history. And now that you're able to put the time and date into the Prime 2, it knows exactly you know, what you've been playing. Here we've got history, here we've got a folder and search right there. Let's go back up to playlists. And here's you know why I put my wedding playlist here together. Let's scroll down here and take a look what that looks like now. So we've got quantize at the top, continue, which I heard is more like an auto mix now. Turn on and off your crossfader, your FX, source, Wi-Fi, and record. So that's all there. Oh wait, let's take a look. Also up here, user profile. Here's where all your settings are. I love the fact that it's now tabbed out. It used to just be scrolling through. So now we're all tabbed out here. Let's see settings here. All right, so it looks like it automatically set my time zone because I was on the Wi-Fi, but it looks like Wi-Fi is off. So I'll turn Wi-Fi on there and it should be able to full. Yeah, there's my, okay, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi right there. Let's go back here, settings. Here's all that stuff right there. Okay, let's pop that up. Here's something that's new that I really like. So I've got, you know, cocktail uh, playlist right here. Now I can do play as a playlist and you pick which deck you want it to. And then when you push play, It'll just play your songs that way. I kind of want to hear what it sounds like if it... I don't know, is there a way to see what it sounds like when it's over? Okay, so I tap that. You see, it tells you how much time is left. That's cool. Can I scrub through here? Maybe I'll... No, there's no real way to scrub through a song here. Let's go back to browse. I do like them being up here instead. All right, what else looks different here? If I go to some of my... Settings here. All right, so just swipe over. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty much like how it did before. But again, these two things up here, they used to be down here, so it would take up a lot of real estate. Now it feels like the screen is a little bit wider. There's more stuff here, which I like. Yeah. All right, source, and I've, I just use Beat Source, but I actually just canceled that. I canceled it because um, I couldn't download stuff on here and keep it, but now. I saw that you can take your, your beat source and actually throw it in your prepare folder, which I really like that idea. So let's say a request comes in, I can just, now I can go to beat source, swipe it over, keep it in prepare. Then when I wanna play it, I can play it. So actually, why don't we test that out? Let's see if that works. Let's go over to beat source. I still have it, I think, till the end of the month. All right, so let's just pick a track here. I don't even care. Let's just pick a pop song. All right, so we'll do levitating. So now, yeah, I can prepare that. Now let's go back to my hard drive. And let's say I'm playing, um, I want you back here. So that's playing now. Can I now go to browse and swipe that over over here? Now it's, to, oh, 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 I like that. I really like that. Yeah, wow. Okay, I like that a lot. I might have to reactivate Beat Source because that was one of the reasons why I, I canceled it was I didn't like having to go back and forth and keep stuff. But now I think even with Beat Source, you can now play their uh, playlist that they have. Maybe some of their, let's go back to, I think I have some, uh, 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 my playlist. What do I got? Wedding mode here, modern pop, okay. So now I can play this as a playlist. We'll put that in deck one and it's downloading. You can see it download. And then it'll let me go. Let's see when I can go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, that's that. Let's go over here, take a look at engine software. It definitely has a different uh, interface it looks totally different one thing i noticed is that my laptop is has been running so oh look i just got cash when you're a dj you just got cash laying around bro it definitely looks cleaner it looks nicer i like the way 
it kind of feels here. Let's go through and just, you know, I, I, again, this is not a software where you can DJ off of. I wouldn't DJ off of this, but it is something that, you know, I mostly use for preparing. So let's back here to, I like the look of it. Oh, dual decks is now up here. So I can get rid of that and just have the single deck. And let's go over here to settings. How does that look? Yeah, do you hear my laptop running harder? Didn't have to do that with the original, with the first one. I'm sorry, my camera's moving all over the place. It was pretty easy install. Just download it from Den Insight and update it. All my music just kind of went over. And then I used a cable and I did a laptop update for the Prime 2. So did it right there. I wasn't able to do a over the air Wi-Fi update on the Prime 2. Had to connect it to a laptop. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so that's just my initial thoughts. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You wanted me to try something out. Nothing, no bugs yet so far that I've noticed. Nothing that isn't working. Uh, everything seems to be working pretty smooth. So here we go. All right, first update. Let me know what you think. Thanks.